Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest way I know how to play banjo solos. Uh, right before I do that, though, first thing you got to know about a banjo, it's tuned in the key of G. So when you're playing with a bluegrass band, most bluegrass bands play in G, A, or D. So you learn everything in G, and then you just get a capo, and you capo it. Let's say they want to play a song in D. You go to D like this, and you put nails on your banjo. You see there's little nails in there, maybe you can see that. And you take that string and you go down around the nail and you clip it in there. Then you tune your fifth string up to the end. Then you play everything like that. So you never learn stuff in other keys. You learn everything in the key of G. It's just a slang fast way to learn everything. Okay, this is the way you want to approach a solo. Uh, I showed you in my first video how to play a few songs. Uh, Roll on my sweet baby's arms. Here would be a solo. Someone said, take a solo. Alright, here we go. G and you're going to D, then you're going back to G, then you're going to C. Uh, so that's the way you gotta think. I told you in the first video you gotta know where all your G's are. G is open, this is G, this is G, this is G, and this is G. A little trick when you start playing in G is you go to your second fret to your fourth fret like this. And you can always go into that like going. Watch, I use this G. Whichever one sounds better to you. Now we're going to our D, so here we go, watch. G. Still in G. D. See that D? And then we go to this D. And then we go back to G. Watch, here we go again. C. Anytime you go to C, you see this little pinky here? You drop it. Sounds like a 1930s car from the Body and Clyde movie going out of off the road. Watch, here we go, the whole solo again. G. Scruggs ending. It's. I mean, you could skip that and just play D at the end, but uh, it gets a little little complicated. You have to learn Earl Scruggs. He has a book out, uh, The Earl Scruggs Way. He was the king of the banjo back in the 50s. I fell in love with the banjo watching the Bonnie and Clyde movie in the 64. I remember going to the movies to see it. So I'm going to go over this uh, solo one more time and see if you get it. All right, here we go. If you missed that, don't worry about it. I always miss it. So, uh, what you did was you, your G. Drop the 
pinky. That drop in the pinky, anytime you're playing chords anywhere, you know, there's always a place to drop that pinky. And the scrugs and then goes. I never get that. Doesn't matter. Watch. I guess you got to slow that down. They still trip over that. Uh, I hope you got something out of that. If I get any. Uh, feedback, I'll uh, do another little video on uh, little tricks on the banjo. They're all tricks. You could uh, just remember to capo all the time and uh, people see more than they hear and you always hire the laziest guy to find the easiest way. So, there you go.